Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem remove duplicates from sorted array 2. So given a sorted array nums, remove the duplicates in place such that duplicates appeared at most twice and return the new length. Do not allocate extra space for another array. You must do this by modifying the input array in place with O1 extra memory. So we have to solve this problem in place. Now for this example, if you can see we have 3, 1 consecutively so what we will do we will take can take at most 2 so 2 is in our output array so we have to update this array and then we have 2 2 so we will take 2 2 and 1 3 3 so final this will be the output in our original array and then the length of our output array will become 5 so we have to return 5 so how we will solve this problem so let's see if we have two element initially in our array then we do not have to do anything we will just return as it is if there are two elements so these two element can be a same or different so 0 0 or any number like 0 or 1 so if it is then it is satisfying the constraint of our uh, problem we will just return and the length of them. after that what we will do we start two pointers uh, one is both of them from the index this which is at index 2 s and let us say slow pointer s and fast pointer f. So this fast pointer we will loop through until reach to the length of our array which is still the less than n. Now at every point at fast pointer what we will do we are building the array and we will keep the result array till the s will be representing the last element of our array. So what we will do we will compare what is the element at the current if nums of f the fast pointer is not equals to if it is not equals to nums at as the slow pointer is pointing the our created array minus 2 if it is not equals to this then what we will do we will update our nums of slow pointer by 1 and assign this uh, new element at that point f plus plus if it is equal then we just keep update f so that is the only two condition this is one condition and two condition if it is equal we will update by this if it is not so in the end we will get the s will represent our out index where the our output array till the all the elements without the duplicate remo after removing all the multiple duplicates so let us see how we will solve uh, run this uh, so s is here and f is also over here so initially we will compare what is the is this equals to this this is not equal so what we will keep we will update both the pointer now s is pointing here and f is also pointing here again we will compare this is not equal then both will update s will be here and f will be here again now we compare this with this this is equal so we just increase f and while s will be here then we will again compare this with this is equal so we will update f only not s now this is not equal to this we copy this 2 to this place and replace this 1 by 2 so this will become 2 now same we will keep repeating it and we will get answer like 3 3 so let us implement the code so for the code what we need to do let us first find the length of our array nums dot length now if n is less than 3 then we just return this itself and otherwise what we will do we will use the two pointers slow start from 2 and fast start from 2 now we will run this loop while the fast is less than the number of element in our array now we will check if nums at fast element is not equals to nums at slow element minus 2 in that case we just update s y 1 and assign the value of whatever value at f and in all case we need to update our fast pointer and in the end the s will represent the length of our output array so we will return s so let us compile the code and see the code is getting compiled and we are getting correct answer so let us submit the code so it is accepted so the time complexity of the solution as you can see we are running the fast pointer till the length of the array so it is o of n is the time complex solution and the space complexity we are just using the uh, constant and it is constant so another approach we can also use solve this using the for loop 
so we just uh, take the output like merge this with this so for in fast is equals to from the start from the s and then fast less than the n and fast plus plus and here we will assign again nums if the nums of fast not equals to nums of slow minus 2 then we will update this nums of slow plus plus y nums of far that is it and in the end again we return same slow pointer. So, the why we are comparing with the s minus 2 because we can keep two element as max same. So, that is the reason. So, if you like this solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and this is accepted.